Um, unfortunately, tomorrow is already Monday for me, but I thought I'd squeeze in a quick tutorial doing two cards with um, making some very simple alcohol ink backgrounds and um, using the just the Tim Holtz blower tool. Uh, so we're gonna make just two simple cards, just using sentiments, quick and easy, uh, but yet gorgeous. So let's get started. So I'm using the craft plastic again, and I'm using six by six so that I can trim it down and, and take only the, the section that I really want. Um, okay, so I've already chosen a few colors. I'm trying to go think outside of my box, which is add more colors. Um, so I'm gonna try the Flamingo and the Valencia, and uh, let's see what we get. I'm gonna add in some gilded the alloy <clears throat> and now alloy is a leafing um, there's a leafing mica in there so alloy will always tend to try to go back and stick together so it adds a really nice effect um, with nice veining um, as it all sticks together so here I've just got regular alcohol ink in a little precision tip bottle um, and when you're using um, any alloys or mixatives, you always want to give a little bit of a squirt of the alcohol blending solution <clears throat> because this will seal it. So that way the, because normally if you did the gilded <clears throat> and you just used alcohol, when you'd come back later, you could actually flake that, the, the mica off. But if you use the blending solution, it sort of seals it. So I always give it a little bit of a squirt. <clears throat> okay, so let's get started here. Now the alloys, <clears throat> less is more. Don't need to use too much there. <clears throat> and now we're just gonna simply blow it around just to give it a little bit of texture. I always tend to overblow a little too much. <clears throat> uh, just another hint up here. Seems a little naked. <clears throat> now I think I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to set that one over here to dry <clears throat> and let's do another one again with the craft plastic. <clears throat> this time I'm going to try the cobalt and the purple twilight. <clears throat> again, I'm going to give this a little bit of a shake. And I forgot last card to add in a, just a hint of the blending solution. Thank you. 
and dry that a little bit. one I'm going to try is with eggplant which is <clears throat> my absolute favorite color and just the eggplant I'm just going to do the eggplant and some gold Just trying to get it to dry a little bit. I added in quite a bit of alcohol. <clears throat> Now see how the all the alloys are all coming back together. Let's see if I can pull it apart a little bit. Really, you play with it until you get what you like. to our first one and I'm just gonna take this off I paper to I tape a paper towel down just to catch any of the excess ink so I don't have to clean it off of my glass mat <clears throat> And simply all I'm going to do is take whatever pieces I like, and I think I'll do something like that. I like to have a little bit of white on the edge there. Um, yeah, so let me trim this. I'm gonna stick a little bit of gold behind, so I have to trim that down as well.
<clears throat> now I've chosen to just matte on the white. This. I've already pre cut some sentiments here. So, if you're just using the sentiments, what's really good is you take your paper and you mount it with the double sided adhesive. So that way they'll just peel off and you can stick them right on. You don't got to worry about gluing the little, the little tiny bits. So, let's uh, glue this down. <clears throat> This little sentiment, you are loved. This is a Simon Says release. I just love it. Doesn't seem to want to come off for me. Of course, I want that little heart there. And I'm going to use some foam tape so I can raise up this panel of the card just a little bit just to give some nice dimension some pop dots.
I actually am shocked how much I love the pink and the orange because that has never been a combination that has appealed to me, but I've seen so many ladies using that combination and yeah, it's quite lovely. So I'll stick my sentiment on right about there. And that's it. Oh, that's quite lovely. Very quick. You could probably pump out quite a few backgrounds rather quickly. So let's see whether I want to use this one. This one. Maybe I'll try this one. This is a little bolder. So let me trim that up. And again, I pre-trimmed some backgrounds. Now I'm using um, a dye. I, I think it's Paper Roses um, with the stitched border. I find now I'm so addicted to the stitches that I can't um, not have them. It looks too plain without them for me. So uh, it's become a, a problem. This one I'll just glue down all flat. Try the other sentiment. Now you can certainly um, layer up these sentiments. I've seen a lot of ladies, you can put three layers of the sentiments on top of each other, so it gives, it provides quite a bit more dimension. But for today's video, I'll just keep it simple. on a few pop dots. See, now I can cover up that little spot there that I'm not so keen on. Oops, that so, that's it. So, you know, sit for a half hour, make some backgrounds, simply put them together and they're absolutely exquisite um, anything you see in the video aside from the sentiments they are Simon Says exclusives of Simon Says but any alcohol inks or Yupo paper um, I have it in stock so just give me a shout at scrapbookniagara at hotmail.ca anyways hope you enjoyed the video short and sweet 
enjoy the rest of your Sunday.